Hi there, and welcome to the OBS instructional video series, How to Access Our Electronic Services. My name is Stacy Bartel, President of OBS Financial. In this edition, we're going to walk you through how to upload information and documents and what you'll need to complete your tax return online. In our preceding video, Completing Your Registration Form, we showed you how to complete the online registration form and upload documents. In today's video, we will be showing you how to add additional tax information from your phone, tablet, as those are the two easiest ways to do this. So, to start off, we're going to go to our website. So just go to www.obstax.com. Once there, you're going to click on the hamburger or pancake uh, button at the top. That's your menu. And you're going to take a look down. You're going to go to Tax Registration and Upload Center. From this page, you'll see this is where you already filled out your online client registration form. We have your tax information upload center, which is the section we're looking at now. As you can see, there are four different upload systems that you can use for today's demonstration. We will be using the tax information upload process, but you can add just medical miscellaneous donations if you're, if you're dealing with something very specific. At this point in time, we're just going to click on the Start button under Tax Forms. You're going to be redirected to our PowerForms DocuSign uh, registration page, page. So to start, just put your name and your email address in. Click on Begin Signing. From there, this is more like a fax cover sheet that you're going to get. Uh, once we So two more things we have to do first. First of all, click on Continue down at the bottom here and then Start. When you get there, first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the date. Today is April 1st, so we're going to put that on there. You'll see my name's already put in. Uh, next question is, what type of documents are you uploading? Well, here we're just actually uploading just tax info. All right. So this would be T4s, T5s, whatever else. If you had medical or property taxes and it was very specific, you could put that in there. The next one here is, is this for you or for someone else? Well, you know what? In this case, I'm downloading all this stuff for my uh, for my dog. Uh, actually, not really a dog. It's actually going, we're uploading stuff for Wild E. Coyote. Going to make sure his taxes are done because he always gets a good refund due to all of his medical expenses. What tax year are we going to do the, what tax year do the documents correspond to? Well, they're current this year. This year it's 2019. And now we have a box here if there's anything else that we should know. You can put your information in there. In this case, there's nothing we need to know. Uh, next question is, are you planning on sending us any more information? At this point in time, the answer would be no. I'm sending in everything I think. I may have to go back and upload later if there's more information requested by the company. But for right now, we're going to select no. If there is yes, it will ask us when we expect for you to send it in. But in this case, again, we're just going to select no. And the very last question is, have you completed a registration form, right? Of course, we like to have our registration forms in before we get any of this. So we're just going to act. In this case, we have completed it. So we're going to select yes. And now we're ready to upload. So all we do is click on the paper clip here in the middle. And we're going to go to our upload page. This is where it gets easy going to click on upload a file and you'll see at the bottom we can either take a picture or video we can grab something we've already taken a picture of in our photo library that helps if you have to do a screenshot of a t4 or something like that or if you've got it filed as another pdf you can click browse and find it in your phone but in this case we're going to just show you we're going to take a photo or video click on there and you'll see that now accesses your camera from there we're going to take a look First thing we have is we have a profit sharing form from the Acme uh, Roadrunner Tool and Coyote Supply Department. We're going to zoom in, make sure that we get it, all the information necessary, and take a picture. Look at the picture. It all looks pretty clear. Click on Use Photo. From there, we're going to find the second form. So now we have a T4. I'm going to click on Upload File again. Same thing. Now, the T4 has two different forms, but all we need to do is C1. The other one's just a copy. I'm going to click on that. Again, use photo, let it upload. The third uh, document we have is going to be a T4A from the same company. Take another picture. 
again make sure you get in nice and close take your photo hit use photo and we're there now the last thing we do have considering this is my first submission is i do have one medical expense on behalf of wiley the poor guy you know what ended up in a body cast uh same time he bought some anti-bomb repellent and advil which are all deductible according to the acme tax return company so we're going to zoom in take a nice picture of this so we can see it all use the photo and now you see we have four documents ready to go and upload since that's it that's all we need to send in we're going to click on done at the bottom go back to our page if you scroll down you can just take a quick look make sure everything's eligible legible you can see it all go down to the medical all the numbers are able to be read since everything looks good are you finished signing we're going to click finish and now we're at our completed page so from here if you want you can download or you can print what you just took pictures of and submit it in but since it's just a document to come in we're going to hit close you don't need any of that and bob's your uncle you're all finished I want to thank you for tuning in it's just that easy if you have any questions you can give our office a call at 204-444-5678 thank you very much and have a great day